good? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh. <laughs> Chad's got his foot zapper, if you oh. uh, remember from, I don't know, probably somewhere in the Kentucky Route Zero playthrough. Yeah, sorry. You're getting your yeah. feet zapped. Oh, my God. It's you got to get one of these things. This is unbelievable. Send me a link. I'll, I'll take a look. Yeah. Sounds oh fun. Oh, hang on. I got, I've received my full wages. Oh, that's how things are going to affect us. How much we get paid. This just turned into like, uh, uh, what's the Shenmue! game? <laughs> Forklifts. That's going to come it, next. It all comes back to Shenmue. <laughs> uh, no, what was the, uh, glory to our Statska. What's the oh, same uh, guy who did return to Oprah Din? Yeah, the, uh, my uh, old brain papers, forgets. Please. Yes. Paper, please. Papers, please. Papers, please. That's, so this is going to be like that. Are we going to have to like feed our family and, and shit now? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe. Well, let's find out. Oh, the world. Oh, world balance stuff. Real quick. Yes. That's this is my a, foot thing. Oh, oh, okay. Let me take a look at this. So Chad's been getting his feet zapped. Foot circulation plus. Oh, 200 oh. bucks. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I was able to get it. I, I was able to get it with my, uh, my healthcare you had, spending. Yeah, you had the account where it's yeah. like you have to spend a certain amount. Well, yeah, I, it, if I didn't spend it, it was just going to disappear. So. Right. It makes sense. Um, But, oh my God, dude. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. Uh, I can put it on my wish list. All right. So the world, I don't... Is a vampire. <laughs> so this is advance, and they went down. This fist... I don't remember. The uh, channel, whatever, I, I guess this is the news, their heart is broken. Maybe the fist is like the the people, the resistance. The, re the re rebellion, yes. Okay, well, good. I'm going to try and keep that up then. Uh, do we want to look at any of the... Uh... Ow! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> what so happened? I, I, Why I ow? On, I turned it up and I moved it to a different mode and my toes locked up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, really? We're back here? Oh, I hit save and quit. By, I thought I just oh. saw save and I hit it too soon. Oh, I have it alternating, like pulsing left foot to right foot and back. Uh-huh. Oh my god, dude. You gotta come over and try out my foot massager. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll try it out. Although, Shit's, but who knows? Uh, By the time I'd be able to come back over there, I might already have one of my own. It's true. Oh, here, let me take care of this. It's a lazy Sunday afternoon in summer, with you and Sam making the most of both kids being out of the house. You do if they if they have any lines. Give you a little okay. break on your on your voice on this. Uh, you head into the pantry, taking a moment to remember when it used to be your mother's room. Aw before coming out with the last two slices of homemade cake. It's rare for you and Sam to actually get to finish sweet things in this house, and you savor every mouthful. Just as you take your last bite, you hear the sound of the front door slamming. That'll be Charlie back from the Go-Getters. You can hear him practically running to come find you, and he's grinning from ear to ear when he finally does. I have some really big news! <laughs> you and Sam play along, sitting attentively with bated breath. Ready? Charlie asks as you both nod enthusiastically. With a flourish, he reveals a new badge from his pocket and proudly presents it to you both to examine as he announces, <laughs> As of today, I'm a member of the first tier of Cohesion Cadets. There's way more stuff I'm going to be doing and I'll be working some weekends, but it's really cool. Okay, so this I actually do kind of remember now. One of our decisions in the first uh, the first part, he wanted to go to a quote-unquote youth group that mm -hmm. your character kind of was like, I don't know, sounds kind of culty to me, essentially. And, uh, but we were like, eh, let him go. And that was All the right, decision. Well, what do you want to be? You want to frown or you want to smile? Let's see. Congratulations, Charlie. Seems a big step up for teenagers. You and Sam Grimbeck. I mean, I don't know. Because we, we let him go and, and start down this path, so. But then again, is this related to advance? I don't know. 
It seems like something they would have, the Cohesion Cadets. It might be. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. You, uh, what do you think? I say frown. All right. Oh. I guess it's just showing our attitudes. A grown-up child. Uh-oh. You've always had dinner as a family for the important events, and tonight is no exception. You've even invited Chris round as an olive branch. Or Sam did. And that's why, apparently. It'll be the last time you're all going to be together for a while. So far, you've managed to avoid fighting with Chris or Susie over politics, uh, which Sam is no doubt grateful for. With her exams and your work, you've not seen much of Susie lately. Of course, Sam's glad Chris is, is there, but you're not so sure what's worse, their company or the empty place at the table where your mother should be sitting with her ever-present mug of tea. So, Alex, I believe you had a few words. Sam pointedly asks, nodding towards Susie. Your daughter cocks an eyebrow with a quizzical expression, and you can't help but see a little of yourself in it. Ah, yes, of course. What's this about? Susie asks, laughing as she takes a drink of her champagne-adjacent uh, sparkling wine. Uh, Sam made a point this afternoon that it was a big day, and that you should all just be celebrating her achievement. So, our little Susie. <clears throat> uh, come on out with it, Alex. We're waiting. Chris laughs, clinking glasses with Susie. Chris seems to be in good spirits, at least, even if they're chiming in unhelpfully as usual. Please, Chris. I'm just trying to congratulate my daughter. <laughs> We're always a dick to Chris. I know. Come on, Alex. I was just a joke. Lighten up. Chris smiles at you from behind their fifth glass of imitation champagne. Yes, today is about Susie. Sam starts. Let's not. Oh, uh, but Sam, you should be grateful. If it wasn't for Alex, I wouldn't even be here. Any trace of a smile gone. Chris, grow up. This isn't about you. <laughs> oh. Susie's mischievous smile becomes a grin as she gets up, comes around the table, and gives you a big hug. I'm going to miss you. You can see Sam start to tear up as they stand and join the embrace. Miss us? Are you going somewhere? A good question. Susie laughs, breaking the hug. No, you're not getting rid of me yet. But I'll probably have to leave when I get my first posting. Oh, hush now, let's not talk about that. Sam cuts her off, smiling. The rest of the evening passes as a happy blur, and even Chris behaves themselves. You couldn't be prouder. Hmm. Ooh. I mean, we could if that Chris would shape up. Yeah, stupid Chris, we don't like him. Uh-oh, mm. shopping. Something that always seemed so tedious before the sanctions has become even more of a chore now. You managed to get almost everything you needed for the family this evening, but you'll have to come back tomorrow to get through the week. There's a queue to leave the car park, though it's hard to make out why in the dark. Hopefully, whatever's causing it won't be long. As the final car in front of you drives off, you realize the queue is actually due to a checkpoint set up at the exit. A friendly-looking whoa, man in an, in an advanced oh. uniform, CCO emblazoned in a number of places on it, uh, approaches your car and knocks on the driver's side window. You roll it down. CCO, wasn't it, uh, was it something cadets that we just saw that also started with a C? So that's probably yeah, what that I was. I think so. Okay. Good evening. Nothing to worry about. I was uh, just wondering if I could see your team membership card, please. Weren't these cards supposed to be voluntary? I'm sorry I don't have one. Uh, it's not a problem. Uh, we got forms with us right here, and we're more than happy to uh, send you up. The man gestures to his colleague behind him, a young woman in a similar uniform. She clearly received the short end of the stick and is stuck with the paperwork. Oh, I dude. thought these cards weren't required. Yeah. Well, uh, strictly speaking, they're not. But there's also loads of benefits to having them and no reason not to get one. His smile fades a bit, and when he puts a hand up to scratch the back of his neck for a moment, he leans over you, his presence now seeming a little intimidating. 
Uh, no thanks. It's not something I want right now. Almost instantly, the friendly demeanor is gone, and his expression is one of stern disapproval. Well, uh, obviously I can't make you sign up, but I would strongly recommend you do, and soon. We wouldn't people. We wouldn't want people to think you had anything to hide, would we? He takes a step back and gestures for you to drive on. You're sure you see him writing something down in your rearview mirror as you head home somewhat more hurriedly than before. Clearly, Advance are very keen on everyone joining the team. <gasps> Jeez. Oh, and our son's going to be one of those now. Yeah, we got to write him off real quick. Yep. He's out. Yep. Ooh, an invitation worth ignoring. It's a Saturday, one of your few days off, and you've made the most of it. But as late afternoon draws on, the invitation sits pinned to the fridge, staring accusingly at you. Uh, the Channel One Gala is a mandatory work event. Bo uh, uh, Bozeman, Bozeman was very quick to tell you. Also, don't you dare be late. Uh, you know, I mean, the last time we had a decision like this, we we sided with taking our vacation instead of going into work. Okay, let's uh, let's not incur his wrath. Yeah, I mean, that's right. They did say they didn't necessarily save all our decisions, but. Just to be safe, best start getting ready. You wonder if Sam will give you a lift. A drink or two might help with the enforced office socializing. Hopefully it won't be too bad. After all, you're pretty good at your job, right? The best. Oh, <gasps> National News Night. Oh, I thought we were gonna have a new. A You're... gala. Yeah. You arrive on time, barely, at the Sauvignon, one of the oldest and grandest hotels in the capital. You're surprised to see a queue to get in, and quickly realize it's because people are being searched at the door by some very military-looking personnel in smart attire. While you're waiting, you can't help but notice just how very opulent the building is, possibly the fanciest place you've been to in your life. You submit to being patted down, and with a sigh of relief, are led into the hotel. Once inside, you are directed to the Grand Ballroom, and following the signs, you marvel at the sheer scale of the place, and the amount of armed security guards. When you finally arrive, a very severe-looking woman at the door asks for your name. I'm Alex Winston. She curtly checks her list before whispering something to the waiter beside her. You've made it just in time to be seated before dinner. Please, follow Emmanuel here to your table. The waiter smiles at you and opens one of the great double doors, gesturing for you to enter. Immediately, you can see why it's called the Grand Ballroom. You pause for a second to take it all in. You feel a slight tap on your arm, and Emmanuel, uh, Emmanuel gestures for you to follow him. He seats you that at- That screwed me up too, I wanted to say Emmanuel also. I guess it's just the old Emmanuel, uh- Yep. I always had- <laughs> I always have the old, uh, the theme song. It might have been for one of the, the sequels, Emmanuel in Space. Mm -hmm. But it just had a song that was like, Emmanuel! <laughs> if I could find- I'd love what to find that those on Showtime? Again. I thought they- Showtime or Cinemax, they were one of those old series. Oh, that reminds me. I think there was an Emmanuel game that the same people... I think it was the same team that did Urban Runner and Lost in Time. That we should play sometime. Emmanuel in Space intro. <laughs> Are you looking it up? I found it for you. It's on Daily Motion. <laughs> really? Emmanuel! Yeah, okay, hang on. Alright, just hit it. <laughs> Let's see if this gets... Gets a copyright strike. I wouldn't even care. Worth it. Yeah, During Manuel the in last space. Moments of this century, a group of strange visitors arrived from another planet. Hang on, I'm going display capture. I don't even care. And found one of the most sensual and beautiful of all Earthlings, <laughs> Emmanuel. <laughs> To take them on a journey around the world <laughs> to explore the mysteries of I'm at 45 love seconds in if you want to and sexual sync up. desire. Oh, it's sexual desire, Collecting of course. Collecting data which would change their 57. own world so very far away. And thus we embark <laughs> on an adventure Emmanuel. like no other. Emmanuel. You pause it for five seconds and then go. 
108. Yep. All right. We're all synced up here, people. Get ready. <laughs> Queen of the galaxy. Emmanuel. <laughs> Come lay here with me. Emmanuel. Why did I remember this so well? I don't, I don't know. Even, I don't even think I watched the you movie. I think we just. It came on once, and I think my friend Tim and I were watching, and we were just laughing at the song. From the stars you came, In my arms remain. Why is there a cockfight happening? <laughs> oh, gonna have to censor this. <laughs> Wait, I want to watch this movie now. I know. None of this looks like space. Well, she came from space to study human sexuality. Yeah, but it's Emmanuel in space. Well, she is in space at one point, I believe. Because they showed, like, spaceships and stuff. So basically, this is an erotic version of Suburban Commando. Yes! That's a great way of looking at it. <laughs> great photography by Andrea Risotto. Look at that shot. Oh, Shantae. <laughs> Queen of the galaxy. Queen of the galaxy. I'm glad I saw this again. All right, what is it? Oh, yeah, that's... I think I even downloaded it from there. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Uh, sorry I'm sorry for the break, uh, everybody, in the middle of this, once, but... Once we're done with important. this, we're going to be playing Emmanuel. Oh, is Emmanuel next? We have to now. Oh, boy. Okay. Sounds fine to me. And yeah, that's the <laughs> one. Same, same company that did Lost in Time. So, should be great. Uh, a little earlier, though, much actually, uh, not even a little. Yeah. Before they had their movie sequence stuff, I think. All right. Uh, Emmanuel, <laughs> just just for you to follow him. He seats you at a table away from the central floor area, half under a set of stairs. Your view of the Emmanuel. stage is, at best, partially blocked. Bozeman's definitely not happy with you at the moment. You're sat with some colleagues you've heard of around the you've heard of around the Channel One offices before but haven't met <clears throat> for the most part they're considered slackers at best and about to be fired at worst which category do you fit in my mouth's getting dry now already i gotta <clears throat> mm. here we go as the evening goes on you hear jeremy donaldson receive an award for outstanding contributions to journalism you can you also him. yeah he deserves it you also hear megan wolf accepting it on his behalf as he hasn't turned up to the event not unusual apparently uh, but it's hard for you to tell much from your limited view under the stairs. You also notice a community cohesion officer hovering near your table. That's it, CCO, community cohesion yep. officer. They seem as bored to be there as you. Uh, a few glasses of, no doubt very expensive, wine later. You see Bozeman speaking to a few specific tables, joined by what looks like Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. Uh, this is confirmed by an unimpressed nod from the CCO when you ask them, perhaps a little too loudly. Their presence sparks a debate between those at your table about the virtues of both advance and disrupt. That's okay, so those are the two sides. Advance is the government, disrupt is the rebels. Mm -hmm. Got it. So uh You know what? No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna puss out <laughs> and say nothing. We're picking a side. Um 
And I don't know. I feel like we're already on this road. I, I kind of like siding with a thing called Disrupt. You argue in favor of Disrupt and their ideals disrupt. of freedom. Yeah. You end up talking and staying later than you thought you would, despite yourself. Sam isn't best pleased when you keep them waiting outside for 20 minutes. But it wasn't an entirely terrible evening in the end. You'd still rather have been at home, though. Maybe you'll skip the next one. Let's get ourselves in deep trouble. Oh. Yay, finally. What's going to happen? You wanted it, you got it. Full fast forward and rewind controls are now available in the archive. Ooh. Oh, good, because that those were always kind of slow, the old way you could do it. Yeah. Um. All right, let's keep going. Oh, Gee, the heat. Uh oh, the fan's oh, gonna that have fan. to go. Oh, that fan. There we go. Oh no, fan. Yes. Uh... Oh. Alright, so we have heat on the actual tower. I wonder if that's going to affect anything. So, can't you just turn the fan on and just leave it on? I don't, I don't know. It said something about the... Tripping yes, something? I don't know. On their wax wings. Classical illusions are no substitute for air conditioning. You know, I genuinely thought you'd be in a better mood today. She's not Let's even see. here. Yes, oh, they got a new VCR. Yeah. Our gun toting handler. Who, Andy? I don't know what the fuck his name is, do I? He's here to keep us safe from people like disrupt. More like keep us in line. Oh, that's the shampoo. <laughs> come to Bumlins. Come Bumlin. to Ten Wait, seconds, but wasn't it, didn't it used to be so come to Bumlins? Real news tonight. All well, the world's on the I don't know. That it's a new show. Going in five. Oh, here we go. Three. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight. Siege mentality. The World Council today established a military blockade to enforce the unjust and punitive sanctions. Uh, they're both the same picture, right? Week. What am I missing? And a statement from team headquarters a short time ago. Yes. Prime Minister Julia Salisbury issued a commanding response to this unprovoked escalation. <laughs> The regrettable decision taken by the World Council this morning have left the citizens of this country isolated and fearful. But advance have prepared for this day. Our stockpiles are large. Our wealth is unfathomable. Still doing and right. we will defend our citizens with every last breath from this latest Oh, I think the fan might trip this sometimes. Act of war. Hmm. Yeah, we turn are it off with moment. you. One team. Indivisible and strong. Thank you. Don't forget about that pesky power button on the fan. I know. Top beer. As his new line of ales goes from strength to strength, yeah. Johnny Hansleeve seems to be really <laughs> capitalizing on his success. The former footballer oh. turned entrepreneur seems to be as comfortable in the boardroom as he ever did on the pitch, as Headbutt Ale smashes projected sales figures yet again. To celebrate <laughs> the achievement, Johnny treated himself to a 24 karat gold toilet he calls Golden Johnny's Golden John. Worth more than the GDP of some nations, the gaudy monstrosity is just as impractical <laughs> as it is garish. And within hours of getting it home, Johnny slept off the solid gold seat and cracked two ribs on the diamond bathtub. <laughs> In it to win it. Exciting news from Advance today with the announcement of a new monthly prize draw for all it's team fine. membership card holders. Every month, Lucky winners from across the country. Oh, gotta be the old guy. picked at random to receive what teammate yeah. Q are describing as unique prizes worth more than money used to be. Take up <laughs> on the scheme has been much higher than expected, and if this lucky oh, winner's oh. delighted face is anything to go by, it looks like pretty Oh, I can, I can put, reposition this to too. Have one. Kiss no, me, go down, darling. go down. The oh. nation's favorite all rounder, the humble flood, has risen to new heights today oh, good, the after a surprise announcement. The news that Flard fans all over the territory have been waiting for is finally here. In a statement met with universal delight, Remington's fist unveiled the next chapter for that faithful family favorite, the Flard. Lawrence Blunderclatch and Helena <laughs> Canterbury Boatshoe, rumored to be mortal enemies, are to reunite to celebrate their one mutual love in Die Flard, the movie. Self-confessed Flardy, Sophia Remington, said, 
It's only right that the real hero of our age takes centre stage in this no holes flawed action thriller. <laughs> Some men left behind. Escape craft construction has been hampered by problems as the beleaguered scientists stuck in Dante's taint have had to make the hard call of who won't be coming back to their new vessel's limited wow. capacity. Despite their promising start, mm. it's fair to say oh. that enthusiasm for the venture has waned. Frayed tensions are rumored to have led to plans being so rushed dunce caps, and big problems that. that could have been avoided hey, that, by just simply counting how many uh, of them there are. You don't are. have to pay attention to the meters. Deciding in the it would be right? wise to put their best foot Not forwards. Not yet. The team I don't think. Oh, the I think this is IQ for temperature. For those that would like to make the journey home. I think. The limit is said to be somewhere between the astrophysicists the, and okay. the geologists. Yeah. I think these things like are going to indicate that. As if we didn't have enough aggressors on our borders. Internal problems are growing for the government as radical activist group Disrupt caused chaos in Parliament Park last night. Scuffles broke out after the protest, resulting fist. in multiple I'm showing the fist symbol. and the injury of three community yeah. cohesion officers. Advance have yet to comment. The reckless fire will certainly be remembered by all those who have seen these striking images. As their actions escalate, people across the country are asking themselves who are Disrupt and what exactly do they want? Other than a new box of matches, of course. All this, and I'll be talking to some people with okay. fascinating medical conditions, as well as one of the contenders in this year's Feline Football Championship and <laughs> her proud owner. That's oh, all that for tonight's good. National Feline Nightly football Championship. Oh! What? Oh, oh! oh frequency, uh, frequency! Uh, uh, I'm trying. There we go. Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. There if you're out there. Oh no! Up top! Oh no, we're off the air! Power! It, you I'm trying, off. I'm trying, it's, it's very strange. Turn the power back on. It's still going. Frequency! Oh my god, are you Frequency! kidding? I'm trying! <laughs> power! Turn the power off! Just the one, I am supposed to Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We gotta we gotta get it together here, folks. So that, you know, we did plenty here today. Obviously, this just got a lot harder. Jesus, man. So, uh, thanks for watching today. Tomorrow, I wish we'll be we back. had a way of both like controlling it. I know that honestly, making if they ever made a, a real sequel to this, making it multiplayer would be a fun fun way of uh, playing it. Yeah. Who? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll we'll pick up uh, we'll pick up from there. <sighs> See you tomorrow. Goodbye.